Uh, Mr. Robinson, is there anything you'd like to say before the court proposes that? Yes, Your Honor. My name is Joaquin Robinson, and I'm here today because I made a poor decision that resulted in the death of 84-year-old Eagle Folk. I accept full responsibility for my actions, and I'm going to do everything in my power to use this situation for a good and become a better person. I just want to start by apologizing to the full family for causing the pain and suffering for a lifetime. I know I can't change what happened. However, I can't change as a person for the better. I ask humbly that if not today, then one day the full family find forgiveness in their heart for my actions. Since my incarceration, I've learned a series of lessons, everything from responsibility to remorse, redemption, and reconciliation. I also met a staff named Rashawn Sullivan. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I, wait, I'm sorry. I just missed what you just said. I also met a staff named Sean Sullivan, who teaches me daily on Living Life Twice and Second Chance. His program at Hilbert was a blessing to me, and I've decided to dedicate myself to educating myself so I can be prepared to one day help other juveniles so that they don't make the same bad decisions I once made. I want to show them that even though you may have done wrong, you still can recover from it, and it is never too late to change. I also want to apologize to my mother and my family for putting them through these troubling times and I promise you this experience to learn and heal from you. Today is a sad day and difficult time for all of us. So once again, I apologize to the full family for causing y'all this nightmare. I just hope that one day y'all can forgive me because I'm learning how to forgive myself. As I look at the men in the mirror, I understand that there are consequences for my actions and today I accept mine. I pray that some, that I pray that I learn from this tragedy. Thank you for your time and the opportunity to speak. I would note that throughout the course of this, I've learned, also learned about Mr. Robinson. I've learned that he does have a family who cares about him. I've learned that he has a mother who, from my review of all these records, did everything that a person could possibly do to help her son. Mr. Robinson, perhaps someday you will understand the gravity of what you did. You get to live your life. Someday you will be released. You're a young man with your whole life ahead of you and you will get to live your life and I hope that someday you understand the gravity of what you've done and I sincerely hope that you will put that to good use. However, Eva Fold, her life was stolen. It was also stolen from everyone who knew her and loved her and respected her. And it was stolen in the most brutal, horrific, savage way that anyone could ever imagine. Sentence and judgment of this court <clears throat> is as follows. With respect to the first count of the indictment murder in the second degree, the sentence and judgment of the court the defendant be sentenced to an indeterminate sentence of nine years to life in an appropriate facility in the New York State system. With respect to the second count in the indictment of robbery in the first degree, it is the sentence and judgment of the court that the defendant be sentenced to an indeterminate sentence of three and a third to ten years. With respect to the third count in the indictment, murder in the second degree, the sentence and judgment of the court is an indeterminate sentence of nine years to life. With respect to the last count of the indictment burglary in the first degree, the sentence and judgment of the court is an indeterminate sentence of three and a third to ten years. The court fully considered the entire range of sentencing. Obviously, the court has imposed the maximum sentence allowable under the law. It's not lost on me the difficulties that Mr. Robinson that you have faced in your life. I've reviewed the mitigation report and I reviewed the video. And frankly, in that video, your description of what happened was chilling. It was cold. That is why the court has seen fit to impose the maximum sentence allowable. 